take uh, E7 chord. <laughs> the keyboard player's hands. I'll look at what he's playing. And if I see some fourths in that chord, I look at the note in the middle. I look at the second note. If he's playing it in a in an open fourth position. Sometimes, you know, they'll play it with with the whole step in the fourth here, but I just have to, you know, I have to uh invert all those things to, to make sense of it. Or use my ears. But say that he's playing a, a D, a G, and a C, or you're playing a D, a G, and a C like this. Well, that G is in the middle. So I'm going to play a G minor pentatonic scale. 
So it sounds like a blues scale without the blue note, without the sharp four. The G minor pentatonic. I'm going to imply that over an E7 chord. So I got an E7 being played or being imagined in my mind. And I'm going to play a G minor pentatonic over it. So what I'll do now is I'll play a little bit of E7. And then I'll imply that G minor pentatonic resolve into A major. And you'll get to kind of hear what I'm doing. But I might go into a little bit of the, the uh, flat nine. Because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's in, my, in my plan to move those, those sounds like that. So watch out for that F diminished sound as well over that E. So everything I'm doing right now is E7 resolving to A major, or maybe A minor, depending on how I feel. <laughs> 